Hi, my name is Bonnie Galicia. I'm 23 years old and I'm the community farmer at Grow Wyndham. When I was in high school, I actually joined the program at Wyndham Tech. I had heard about it through a friend who worked at Grow Wyndham already through EastCon. She said, oh, you should join. And I came to a couple volunteer days and I liked it. So then I, I joined EastCon. So then I joined Grow Wyndham. EastCon helped me get the connection and then I got like an actual like job at Grow Wyndham. I'm really happy to be in this role specifically because I think it's awesome to have representation um, of the community, like someone who like went through the programming, uh, directly knew how everything went, knows what can be changed and what needs um, more attention. So I think it's a really different insight that other folks wouldn't have. I can remember like the first vegetables I planted at my house, which were strawberries. Um, and I thought that was really cool, but also strawberries don't give fruit until like the first or second year, depending on the variety. Um, so like the first year it was like a letdown for me because I got like these little tiny things that were very small um, and I just thought I had done it wrong but um, after doing a little more research I figured out like oh that's what's supposed to happen like that's strawberries. Like any other fruit it's um, or vegetable um, it's an experience because everything is different and it, so many factors play a role in it. I guess that was like a good introduction to growing food because it could have been something easy like maybe lettuce or kale and it could have gone like perfectly and I would have been like wow it's so easy but that's not how farming is at all. Especially youth they they just don't know how much effort goes into food production um, because in the generation they grew up food production isn't something that seems like very common either in families especially if you grow up in a place like um, Willimantic that's a little bit more urban and not everyone has their garden or if you didn't grow up with farmers in your family um, and you're used to just going to the grocery store to get all your food um, when they see it actually happen they're amazed they're like wow I can't believe like this tiny seed that we just took care of grew all this food um, and the other side of it is like I can't believe how many things can go wrong and actually obtaining this food they feel very, I think, empowered and very proud that they do it because they know how much work it goes into um, and how much work they personally like put into it. Uh, so when they get the final product, I think they're, they're very proud and amazed of like what they've done.